Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we will be introducing you to the Common Sense RC pair boards and how to properly use them. There are six different models to choose from, each with different connectors for the most common batteries on the market. Choose from XT60, Dean Style T-plugs, EC3, EC5, UMX Style, or Blade Helicopter Micro connectors. To get started, you'll need the following things. First, you'll need the batteries you're going to be charging. Today, we'll be using three 11.1 volt 2200 milliamp 50C Electron Pro LiPo packs. Next, you'll need a paraboard with connectors that match your batteries. We will be using a Common Sense RC paraboard with EC3 connectors. To charge the batteries properly, you will need an intelligent balancing charger like the Common Sense ACDC6, which we will be working with today. To be as safe as possible, we are using a Common Sense RC LipoSafe bag, which can help suppress flames in the event of a LiPo fire. Remember that although the bag is an added layer of protection, it is designed to minimize any fires, not extinguish or prevent them, so the battery should never be left to charge unattended. The last thing you'll need is a voltage tester to check the batteries before charging. We'll be using the Common Sense RC Cells by Platinum voltage tester. The following procedures apply to all the Common Sense RC pair boards, but there are a couple exceptions which we will address shortly. The first thing we need to do is check the actual voltages of each cell in the pack. The way parallel charging works is the charger looks at the batteries wired in parallel as if they are one large pack with the same voltage of one pack and all their capacities combined. The batteries need to be the same chemistry, same cell count, and have the same voltage as measured before the charge. To get the voltage of the packs, you should use a LiPo voltage tester or multimeter. It is extremely important that the measured voltages of the packs are the same. Do not charge packs if the voltages between packs varies by more than a tenth of a volt or if the battery is severely unbalanced. The batteries we are using all measured at 11.5 volts so they are ready to be plugged into the paraboard. Make sure to always plug the board into the charger first because the leads on it become live once the battery is plugged in, making it easy to cross them and cause a short or a fire. You can plug the pack's balance connectors into any of the available slots on the board. They do not have to be next to the charge leads. If you are using the UMX pair board, the balancing is done through the charge leads so you will only be making one connection per battery. If you are using the micro connector pair board, there is no balancing plug because the batteries are single cell. Once the paraboard charge leads and balance connectors are hooked up to the charger and all the packs being used have been plugged in, place the batteries inside your LiPo safe bag. Now we are ready to program the charger. Electron Pro batteries are rated for charging at a rate of 2C, C standing for capacity. Since we are charging three 2200 milliamp batteries, we could use a charge rate as high as 13.2 amps. The ACDC6 is a 50 watt charger with a maximum current output of 5 amps, so that is the rate we will charge at. If you are looking for a higher output, check out the GT Power 400 watt charger, which can charge at a rate up to 20 amps. Select LiPo Balance as the charge mode. Unless you are using the micro connector pair board, then select LiPo Charge. Since we are charging in parallel, the voltage we will select on the charger will be based on the cell count of one of the batteries. In this case, we are using 3 cell packs, so we will choose 11.1 volts, the nominal voltage of a 3 cell lithium polymer battery. Once your charger is dialed in with proper settings, hold the green start button and the charger will ask you to confirm the amount of cells it reads compared to the amount of cells you asked it to charge. If these numbers match up, hit the green button and the charge will begin. Once completed, the charger will beep and display full on the screen. At this point, you can safely disconnect your batteries, power down your charger, and start flying.